Hi, uh, uh, North South Foundation is uh, uh, conducting the national level competitions here at University of Texas at Dallas. Uh, uh, this is a great event. Uh, about 1,500 participants are uh, taking part in everything from spelling bee to vocabulary bee to geography bee and math bee. Uh, North South Foundation, this is 25th anniversary year where we are conducting these uh, competitions. All the money being raised goes to scholarships for uh, financial uh, needy kids in India. Uh, this is a great uh, event and uh, all the parents and uh, kids coming from across the country to participate in this. We hope uh, uh, everybody has fun here, uh, you know, gets to the competitions and uh, uh, in the process learn something here. Uh, thank you. occupied a position or office to which another has succeeded. Predecessor. Predecessor. P-R-E-D-E-C-E-S-S-O-R. That's correct. Thank you. 52. Billy Can. Billy Can. B-I-L-O-Y-C-A-N. Billy Can. That's correct. Thank you. 54. Trauma. Trauma. T R A U M A. Trauma. That's correct. Thank you. 55. Arrain. Arrain. A R R A. I G N. That's correct. Thank you. Magnolia. Definition. Magnolia is any of a genus of American and Asian shrubs and trees with entire evergreen or deciduous leaves and usually showy white, yellow, rose, or purple flowers appearing in early spring. Magnolia. Magnolia. That's correct. Thank you. Ginarchy. Ginarchy means government. Of paired words or expressions, regularly used together, but typically not adjacent to each other. Correlative. C-O-R-E-L-A-T-I-V-E. And that's the end of round three. Can you speak loud? How many people will be going to round three? How many people? Uh, 
to check. Okay, uh, there will be a cutoff. I mean, if you want me to answer. So based on that, it could be anywhere from 12 to 15 people, or it could be more than that. Like let's say if all of you got like 32 or 33, right? There are like 15 people who got 33, they'll be there. Or it's like uh, people who got 33 will be, or 31, whatever the cutoff it is. So maximum will be 15 people. I have a question. Yeah, please. So is the cutoff applicable across all grades? Yeah. Yes, it's all grades. Yeah, here, because it's finals, you don't have any effect. Thank but when it comes to rankings, um, like let's say they participate, they qualify for finals, and then that's when I think they will go with, uh, there are like tie offs and all that. If no one got past the cutoff score, will, will everyone <laughs> the highest score be will the 15 people with the highest score be gone? Yes, that's right. Um, so is it 15 people in total from all the, all the groups? Yeah, all yes. the groups, it could be 15 or it could be less than that. Sometimes they only qualify like 11 people because the cutoff, whatever it is, Maybe 11 people would have gotten their score, so that will be it. So, is it, so 15 people from each group or all the groups in total? Yeah, all the groups. All the group, like let's say I think probably 100 and some people, right? 120 or some uh, number qualified for finals. So that means all of you are winners, okay? So but from here on, right, whatever whoever makes it to the final round, there will be very, very, very few people, okay? So. Don't worry about it. So we all made it here. So that itself, you're all with us. Okay. Yeah. Right. Pernicious. May I have the origin? Latin. May I have a sentence, please? The doctors finally eradicated the pernicious infection from the patient's lungs. Pernicious. P E R N. I C I O U S pernicious. That is correct. Badge number zero zero eight. Correlative. Correlative. Am I saying it correctly? Correlative. Correlative. C O R R E L A T I V E. Correlative. That is correct. Zero, zero, nine. Lexicology. Lexicology. L-E-X-I-C-O-L-O-G-Y. Lexicology. That is correct. Batch number zero, one, zero. Kona. Kona. K O N A, Kona? That is correct. Match number 011. Discern. Discern. May I have the definition, please? Discern means to detect with the eyes. Discern. Can you use it in a sentence, please? The explorer discerned a figure approaching through the fog. Discern. Discern. D-I-S-C-E-R-N. Discern. That is correct. Mm -hmm. Batch number 12. Extant. Oh, Can I have the no, meaning? But, uh, this has a near homonym. Extant. This is currently or actually in existence. Extant. 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 E X. Your word is despoilment. 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 Yeah. Despoilment. Well, what does it mean? The act of damaging or injuring, especially beyond reclaim or recovery. Can you, put, can you use it in a sentence? The despoilment of the food was bad for the hikers. Despoilment. Despoilment. D E S P 
P-O-I-L-M-E-N-T, just poem? That's correct. My batch number is JSB089. Your word is philately. 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 F-I-L-A-T-E-L-Y. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's P-H-I-L-A-T-E-L-Y. Your word is dungaree. Dungaree? Dungaree. Can I have the origin? It's Hindi. Dungaree. D U N G A R E E. That's correct. Right. Your word is magnanimity. Spelling is C E L E S T I A L, celestial. J S B 093. Your word is hominy. 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 Could I please have a definition? Uh, kernels of corn that have been soaked in a caustic solution and then washed to remove the hulls. Can you please use the sentence? How many is sometimes used as bait for fishing? How many? that she couldn't find her three-year-old daughter. Incoherently. I-N-C-O-H-E-R-E-N-T-L-Y. That's correct.